I got to be sure to show them this one. This is so pretty. And this one. Oh, yeah. I'm going to show them that. Oh, hi, guys. It's Sherry. I'm just getting ready to show you a lot of beautiful jewelry and see how you like it. This is pearls. Isn't that gorgeous? So stick around because I have a whole bag and I really love that you're here. Hello, everybody. It's Sherry with Blessed Baubles. And I told you I had a bunch of jewelry. I've got gobs and gobs of it. So I'm going to have a little sale today. A little pop-up sort of sale. I hope it's going to be a lot of fun. There's a lot of things that aren't matching that well in my matching jewelry sets, but they're excellent pieces. So I'm going to offer them to all of you and see how it goes. And I offer them at a discount from what I would list them on eBay, but you guys know all that stuff. And I just hope you love the pieces and have a great time. So thank you so much for coming. I'm really, really glad that you're here. Let's see, which sign do I need today? I think this one. Okay, if you see something you like, please email me at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com. And in your email, please include these four pieces of information. Please, please, please give me the video name with episode number, the timestamps of when your pieces show, and you can get the timestamp by pressing the pause button on any device. Give me a brief description of the pieces and the prices given. So if you put that in that kind of format, I'll be able to whip right through the emails. Um, when the emails get longer and more descriptive, I just kind of freeze. I love talking on email, I really do. But if you can put your order first and then, you know, talk as long as you'd like after that, I do love that. So thank you for that. It helps me to process the orders quickly. And that's just how my brain works. I need to see the video name, timestamp, description, and price. And I'll be like, oh, yes, I have that. Or no, it's, I'm sorry, it's sold. I'm so sorry. Okay, and also invite you to subscribe to my channel. Oops, we don't need that sign. And about the notifications, I'm not sure what's going on, except that I do know when you click the bell, you'll be notified of when my next video comes out. You'll get a notification, you know, they come down on your phone or whatever device, or the video will show up on your feed on YouTube. But if your device does not allow notifications from YouTube, then you have to go on your device and allow it to. Now, I'm recording with my phone. I'm using my phone's camera to talk to you right now. Otherwise, I would take my phone out right here and show you. But you go on your phone, you go to settings, and then you go to notifications. And under notifications, you're going to look for YouTube. And it will say, allow YouTube notifications, and you have to say yes. So that's probably why a lot of you might not be getting the notifications. And I'm really happy about those of you who are. <clears throat> Excuse me. So before I get started on all the jewels, I want to share with you a really excellent loop that I have. I got this oh, maybe two or three months ago. I paid $35 for it, and it's been worth its weight in gold. I don't get anything for selling these. Well, I do get a little kickback if you if you use the link and you buy this through my link in my description box, they'll send me a couple of pennies, but it's not like I'm promoting this company for a big reason. I'm sharing this loop because it's been so healthy and good for me. Now, the reason it's good is because the glass in it is so nice. You'll notice that on cheaper loops, the glass will get a little bit wonky around the edges. Let's see if I can show you. And I know you want to see jewelry, but I do want to help those of you with, you know, that want to know about loops. So let's see if I can use this piece. So we're looking at this, and I mean, it looks okay, but see how around the edges it's kind of warbly? And when I come over with this loop, it's much clearer. It doesn't war warble on the edges. It's just a great piece of glass in there, and it's worth the money. So if you use a loop, if you're straining your eyes, consider this one. That's what it's called, and it's just been great. It's a little tiny thing. It folds up if I want to take it somewhere. 
and I'm not even sure of the strength. Oh, it's a 10 times. Now I was using up to 30 times before, but with this being so clear, I don't need a stronger loop. So I hope that helps some of you. And if you don't know what the description box is on my video, go to the title and look for the word more, click on that, and then it'll open up a bunch of words and things. And in there, I'll have links to my favorite tools that I use for recording, for processing the jewelry, for bagging it, things like that. And those links are to Amazon. And when you use the links, they give me, you know, a couple pennies. So it helps a little, but it's not huge. It's more so to share what things work for me. So I hope that is helpful to you. Also, when you are looking through your loop, don't shut one eye. I see everyone shutting one eye when they use the loop, but you really should leave both eyes open. Get used to doing that because that puts extra strain on your eyes as well. I really looked into all of this when I got like eye floaters and, and I think using the wrong loop contributed a little bit, but the eye doctor does not. Okay, on to jewelry. Now, again, these pieces are beautiful, they're great. I've held on to them because they're wonderful, but they don't always match my color jewelry sets. This one needs a little tiny wipe off. This is a beautiful enamel, like a, almost like the waves of the sea. And yeah, I'll get that off. It's just got a little, with the blue and the green, it's a beautiful piece, silver tone. And look at the condition it's in, really beautiful. I was dying to use that with one of my color matching sets. And those that don't know what I'm talking about with the color matching sets, I take the jewelry and match up sets, like a necklace, a couple pairs of earrings, bracelets, sometimes a brooch. And I put those together, and then I have different episodes of those matching bags, usually on a Friday night. So if you haven't seen those, I hope you will go and enjoy those. And these are pieces that I've had for a while. They're not matching with other things, so I'm offering them for sale because they're great pieces. So this one measures about, you can't see where it is, but maybe a seven and a half. And it's just a lovely enamel bracelet with beautiful colors. So I'll say $6 on that one. Another one in kind of the same color scheme. In fact, if you want to see them next to each other, they're really close. This is also silver tone. I do love that sort of faceted edge look on them. And look how great a condition it's in. It has an aqua color. I don't want to say lime green. It's a little bit softer than lime and a very nice blue. And another clamper. Super nice, good shape. This one is more of an oval shape, which our wrists are more oval. And if I had to say what this one measured, I'd say a six and a half on this one. And I'll say six on this too, six dollars. <throat> I love this vintage bracelet. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. The color is an icy, hmm. I think the camera's doing a great job because there's a lot of sunshine today, so I'm not gonna worry about naming the color. It's coming out really great. It's got all these silver tone loopies, and look at that cool glass right there. So this is just so pretty, and the little bead on the end. Wait a minute, is this one missing? No, it's not missing the bead. See how it's on a pin? This is a little bit bigger and it has a bead. The smaller ones do not have the extra bead, and the bigger ones do, so we're doing good on this one. It's so pretty. It's just a really particular blue that's just lovely. It's on a stretch, of course, sitting at about a seven. And I just love it. Absolutely love it. I hope you do too. And I'll say $8 on this one. Then I have some really pretty art glass bracelets. Lovely heart, silver tone roses. I'll show you some of them. These I think are Italian. I'm not going to think of the name now. Italian something beads. They're not wedding cake, but they're 
there's another name for them. And they have the little roses inside. These are not white inside. The, I think the ones China makes are white inside. And these are not, so I like that. Got some more pink glass. Look at that beautiful faceted piece. So it's on a stretch, a little tight. Don't think it's going to go anywhere, but just know it's a little bit tight. It sits at seven and a half. And whether you want to use it and make something new or not, I'll say six on this one. And another one. It's got a big, giant rhinestone piece right here, which is quite beautiful. This one I think is a little bit more different. Um, different kind of flowers. Again, not white inside. Art glass beads here. And just a different kind of flower, really pretty. Little tiny blue and yellow and pink. And look at the heart bead, isn't that so pretty? So again, on a stretch, this stretch is very nice, loose. And and feels great sitting at a six and sitting at about a seven and I just love the main bead they used on this it's quite stunning I didn't clean it I think it would come out very shiny if you did and see this little knot right here what bracelets bracelet makers do is they usually pop that knot inside of a bead they give it a little dot of glue and they pop it in there to hide it and that can be redone again. Just give it a little glue and pop it in there. So I'll say five on this one. Hi, Bolty. You're here again. You're going to have to get out of the way, though. This I've had a while. It's such a great orange color. And look at the beautiful filigree bead end caps. This is not a stretch. It's a loop chain, like a Rolo chain bracelet on toggle clasp, gold tone. It's just a stunner. If you have anything this color or that you can mix it with, it's just a stunner. It's beautiful. Love this piece. And I love that it's on a chain. Let's see. They call these cha-chas sometimes. It's sitting at six and three quarters. I think if I messed with it, it might go down to a seven. So there's that piece, and this is really cool. It is older, it's got those heavier beads. I'm gonna say 10 on this one. I think it's very unique. This guy has real pearls, gold tone beads. That's just a shadow, there's no wear. See when I turn it, it's all nice. So I think there's some, you got your real pearl, rhodochrosite, this is rose quartz. Look at that faceted bead with the cutaway. It's called cut to clear where they dip it in like a gold and then they cut it to the clear crystal. It's just lovely. I don't know who the maker is, but look at that pendant. Great bracelet, really pretty. Real components on it and sits at a seven. More stone here and I'll say 12 on this one. Another bracelet. This one is a Sherry special. It was coming apart, so I put all new stretch inside. So it's brand new done. And I like this. It looks like a Kenneth J. Lane piece, doesn't it? In fact, all the research I did kept saying that it was, but there's no marks in it. There's like a size eight inside, a little number eight in there. See that? It's gold tone and great shape. And just so cool, very mogul looking. Lots of rhinestones around that center blue piece. And another one here. So on each side, you've got that great looking blue piece. And I think I did pretty good on the stretch. This measure is about a seven. And all the pieces are there. Gold tone, fantastic. I'm gonna say 15 on this one. Okay, so there's that bracelet. This one's all gemstone. This is sodalite. And these beads are, oh boy, I'm gonna think of it now. Um, you know, the dark blue stone. I thought of it just before the video and I did a little practice run. And then there's a piece of really deep blue, cobalt blue glass and a millefiori bead. 
and some more cobalt. So this is what it looks like overall. I am going to bring over Miss Percy. She's ready to go today. And let's see, because sometimes this can be a gemstone. And, but I don't know how to tell. There's a lovely girl named Anna that comes on and she explains that it can test in glass and it can be a gemstone, but I cannot say it is because I'm not as educated as she is. So I'm going to say it's glass. And then this is, oh, I wish I could think of it. It has the, the gold flecks in it. So there's that one. And then here's your sodalite beads. So it's a gemstone and beautiful art glass bracelet with some millefiori sitting at a seven. Pretty good stretch, and I'll say five on that one. Next, I have a really cool necklace. Oh, I wanted, I, you know, all of these I wanted to match so badly because look at the red in there. It's like a deep garnet color. It is a designer necklace. It's just such a beautiful color, but such a dark, dark red. I wasn't finding any matches, so I thought, let me bring it on here and do a sale. And this is, let's see, Ann Taylor. Ann Taylor necklace. It is gold tone, like a lighter gold tone. That's the back of it. I can see the sun's going down a little, so I need to turn my lights up. But these stones at the bottom are a little more opaque, and the ones at the top are more uh, shiny. You can see through them. I thought it was a lovely piece. Let's get Buster. You can see how it hangs on the neck. And that's the Ann Taylor. Gorgeous red, gold tone. The chain is great, too. Nice big lobster clasp. Look at your extender. It's so easy to clasp onto that. This is 18 inches with another, about another inch extender. So 18 to 19 inches. And I'll say seven on that pretty baby. Okay. Moving along, I have this silver plated. It's called the flower cart brooch. It is... So it's silver plated. I found that out by researching it and by testing it. Oh, and also because it's marked silver plated. That's right. So there is your silver plated. It says it right there. And it's a lovely brooch. It's got really pretty patina. You can shine it up a little bit, but I would be careful because it's plated. I don't know how thickly it's plated. And these go for about 25, and I'm gonna say 15, okay? So now we've got a brooch. Ooh, these bracelets, this bracelet, oh, breaks my heart. Really wanted to match this. These are all glass, pink faceted crystals. Absolutely gorgeous. Then they come into these silver tone. This looks a lot Chico's to me, but there's no mark on it. These are sort of a pink, silver, gold, glisteny, soft type of a bead, more silver tone, and then you've got these soft, almost like a beach glass, light, light pink stone. So that's that bracelet. It's such a beauty, really gorgeous. I'm not sure how to, me how to measure these wide ones on here, but I think if we take the number right down the middle, it's about a seven. Oh, just a beautiful, beautiful thing. I'm going to say 13 on this. I think it's worth it. Even if you went and bought the beads to make something else, I think that's worth it. So I hope you do too. This is a gorgeous mother of pearl stretch bracelet. It is a vintage. They call this oh, stackable or stacking or something. See the, the shape of the shell right here? Isn't that cool? It's like a little, like a little boat. And the colors on each of these is just beautiful. It's just fun to sit and look at the color variations and just how gorgeous it is. So that is a beauty, beauty, beauty. And this is the color of the shell as well. Isn't that gorgeous?
gorgeous. Oh, loving it. This sits at hmm, probably a six and a half, but you've got plenty of stretch on this one. You really do. Those shells are all like fitting into each other. So there's that one. They, they list for about 20, 25. Um, absolutely beautiful. And I'll say, I'll do 14. 14 on that mother of pearl. This one's from my friend Anne. I do love it. It's so icicle looking. It is probably, yeah, it's probably Lucite for sure. And all of you loved it. I enjoyed it for a while and I'm ready to catch and release. When you saw me wearing it on the video, you all loved it. So I'm ready to, to catch and release. And thank you, Anne. It's so pretty. It's sitting at a six and a quarter. The stretch is marvelous. And it's got these silver discs around the edges. Beautiful piece. I'll say 18 on that. Gorgeous. Okay, I'm still into bracelets right now. This I've had for a while. I think it's Tiger's Eye. It's so chunky, heavy, beautiful. It has almost a little purplish hint, hint of a color to it. So I'm not sure on this. I would think that's Tiger's Eye, but don't know. But I do know it's big and huge and beautiful. And it tests way up like in the Jade Eye area on... Miss Prissy, so it's definitely a beautiful stone. Not sure what's going on with this, but you guys will know that do this kind of thing. And oh, I don't have any price on this. It's a lot of stone, very heavy. Will it help if I give you the millimeters? They are like 18 millimeters. Yeah, they're biggies. So I'll say 15 on this piece, okay? And let me know what you think. Well, let's get into some vintage necklaces and some fun, fun stuff. Hope you're having a super, super week. I love that today is so sunny. I was going to finish the Rich Box, Poor Box episode today, but I thought, let me just see what I can do about a, a quick sale. There's so many people that list videos on Wednesday that I kind of feel lost in the crowd. So I thought I would do this. Now this is a lovely vintage um, thermoset necklace with the tulips. I couldn't find another with the tulips. I found others with maybe a shape, but not a tulip. So it's really pretty. It does need some little cleanup on the rhinestones, but I don't dare. And the chain is awesome. It's got this really different style chain and your hook on there as usual on these vintage pieces. This is what it looks like on the neck. Oh, so pretty. I love that color. And the rhinestones are all there. It's lovely. It's not marked. There's the back. It's just in beautiful condition. It's probably yeah, 16 inches easy to extend that for sure and the comps on this are 38 and i'm gonna say 18 so 18 dollars on that beautiful piece this is a magnify glass vintage necklace these are quite collectible this one is on a older spring ring clasp and a really lovely chain except the chain has a little issue, a little bit of color right there. I mean, just a little spot. But other than that, it's a beauty. It is real glass, and the sticky thing is still on there. See what I mean? So it's still brand new. It has that like plastic protective sticker on it. So I didn't want to take that off, but that's why it looks a little cloudy, only because it has that plastic thing on it. So I know these are really lovely and lots of people love them. The chain is 28 inches, and again, comps are about $36 on this, 
but with a little bit of discoloration on the chain, you can easily put another chain on it, but I'll say 20 on this one. Real glass, still new. This I did some research on, found out it is a, it's a Nina Ritchie Paris, but I wasn't sure what to price it at. So I think you can wear it either way. And they're very popular. And I was surprised at how much they go for. There's another hang tag there that this one's tied to. I guess it's some more of the initials. Silver tone clasp, beautiful silky cord, just a stunning necklace. I'm sure it's a statement piece for sure. So the comps on this were a hundred and up, hundred dollars and up for this. Nina Ritchie Paris, you can wear it that way, or you could wear it that way and show off the name, I suppose. This is a very bronzy look right here. It's got a silver tone color around the edge and a big silver bale. And this is that pretty bronzy color again. Looks great together with the black. So again, they go for a hundred and over, but I'm gonna price it at 45, okay? So there's your Nina, Nina Ritchie. And it is 16 inches. Hope you love that one. Oh boy, are you ready? You gotta sit down for this one. You're not gonna believe I'm letting these go, but I've got to. I have a whole new box of jewelry that I need to open, and I am so excited. I can't wait to get to it. So here we go. Look at this necklace. This is a Weiss necklace. Um, it is molded glass. It's got like a white pearly molded glass. It's all prong set, and then the beautiful AB crystals along that on the top of those pretty babes. And then AVs all the way down the whole chain. It's a stunner. The end piece is a nice big AV crystal. This is what it looks like on. I'll show you the name in just a minute, but my, oh my, oh my. Gold tone, rainbow color AV crystals, white molded glass, and an actual Weiss necklace. And there's your signature right there. There you go. Did I have it the right way? Yes, I did. W-I-E or E-I? W-E-I-S-S. -S. Yep. So there's that piece. It is so pretty. Let's see what the comps were. The comps were 145. And it is a signed piece. So understand that this is a signed, really top name. And, you know, they go for a lot. They're collectible. In this kind of condition, you just can't blame them for those prices. But that's what the comps are, 145 And I'm going to say 110 Okay, so there you go get to see it on video. You don't have to see a flat picture of it and buy it on some other place. You get to see it in 3D with the name. And here's the back. It does look like it could use a little cleaning, but I just don't dare. But look at how it's constructed. I wonder why these name pieces are so collectible. They're just made so, so well. Just awesome and all prong set. See those things right there? Those are called prongs and they're pressed over the glass to be held on. So you don't have any glue that's gonna come undone. I mean, I don't know if they're glued underneath as well, but you have the prong set, which is why prong set is so coveted and so important, okay? So there's your Weiss necklace, with that beautiful white glass. And I hope you love the price. And off that one goes. Wait, did I tell you the did I tell you what it measured? I think I might have forgot that. Let me do that quickly. It is 
is 16 inches. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, we got that one done. Next, I have this incredible, oh, look at all this brushed gold tone. Big, lovely, I have really big hands. They're bigger than most men's, so you can't always go by my hands, but this is big even in my hands. So you have that textured, brushed gold tone, big, beautiful letter A, and this is by BSK. And there's the name right there. It's in really great condition, a nice big brooch. And I will say on this one, we'll do $12. Nice, strong, heavy BSK piece, pretty hefty. Okay, what have I got here? Oh, this is a fun piece too. So this is a Germany flapper length necklace. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me find the cute little clasp on it. Here it is. So there you go. It says Germany right there. And it's that lightweight snail chain, super long necklace. It just goes on and on. That beautiful shine that they have to whatever they do with the metal, I don't know. And so it's a two strand. And I will just wrap it up a bit so you can see what it looks like when you wear it as a layered necklace. It's so cute, so pretty. So there you go, look at all that shimmer. It's just so shimmery and pretty with that Germany, whatever they do. 58 inches long, 5'8", and you can, you can wear it as all bunched up like this with a pendant on it, I'm sorry or you can wear it super long. So many choices with this. I mean, talk about layering. This one does it by itself. So you have a vintage Germany silver tone flapper necklace. And I think, I think I have this priced at 25. Usually if I say comps, then those are the comps. And if I put the price, that's the price. But I'm still gonna say for this 58 inch Germany necklace, I'll do 20. So 20 on that one. Oops, that's for my BSK. Okay, so, oh. On the BSK, I'm gonna, of course I'm gonna stick with that price, but the, the comps on these were $40. So just so you know, I'll leave that in there, but I'm still gonna leave it at the price that I quoted, okay? But just so you know. Okay. Next we have this is a Bars necklace. B A R S E. And little notes are flying all around. Gold tone clasp, extender, and it's all gemstone. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous gemstone and onyx and tiger's eye. And on, yeah, Onyx already said, really pretty. So these beads are Jasper. This is Onyx. And these I read on the website and on their little tag that it's black coral. This is Tiger's Eye, all faceted, isn't that outstanding? The gold tone beads in between. So you have more Tiger's Eye, your featured black coral and tiger's eye, black coral, and then a big hunk of onyx again. And then back to your jasper beads. So here's your label. It's by the famous Bars Genuine Gemstone Company. And there's some letters on the back, and I did figure them out once, but I can't now. But it does say Jasper Agate on there, $68 on the tag. And that was way back in the day, whenever this was made, so. Okay, uh, 60 on the tag, and I have it priced at $35. So if you love this Bars necklace, let me measure it for you. 
loads of gemstones and gorgeousness. It is about a 19 inch fully extended. Oh, absolutely stunning. They really pick out good gemstones. That's what they're known for. So when you get this piece, or you get a piece from them, you're guaranteed some nice gemstones. From what I hear, so. And that one's just 35. Okay, what's next in my bag of tricks? Oh, you're gonna love this. So this one, <clears throat> it has me so puzzled because of the pricing, but I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna go for it. This is a genuine pearl necklace with these beautiful, like the middle strand here has circular. This has more Baroque. And look at the big rectangular pearls. And the way that they put this together is just phenomenal. The change that they did with the silvery pearls on this strand, the pink on this one. Then they come in with these big triangular pearls. Now, from what I know, they actually put a piece of something this shape into the shell, and then it builds the nacre around it. So it's really a pearl. And then you've got all these other pearls, lots of really cool Baroque, and it goes on three strands. And then along the way also are these gorgeous faceted crystal beads. So I'll show you on the next so you can get an overall look of just how, I mean, they did a great job putting this together. That's one of those things I've been noticing more in jewelry as I go along. So three strands. Let's see. i got to kind of get them going together like going like they should, because they can flip over here. All right, now let's try it. Because I want you to see how it really goes. And there we go. So this one is three strands with those big pearls on it. I hope you're getting to see all the beautiful colors and the crystals. It's lovely. So you see how just a little around here, there's one of those, and here, and here, and here, and here, and odd numbers are always better in any kind of artwork or design. So excellent job they did with this. And this is still bothering me. There we go. Pink on the bottom that are more Baroque. Okay, so my research on this. Um, where's my note? Put it up here so you can see it while I'm talking. It's hard to price this because of so many different factors. But I took a lot of time and thought very hard about it. Looked at the pearls closely, all of that stuff. So the comps on this type of necklace, just one strand, one strand with the square pearls on it like this is $80. So if you bought just this, the comps are $80 for that one strand. But this has the three strands. So we have to think of that. You have three times the pearls, but not three times the triangular, I mean rectangular ones. So um, if one strand was 55, I'm gonna just say the whole necklace is 80. So I'm not tripling the 55, I'm just saying 80 for the whole piece. I hope that's making sense. It has a really pretty ornate silver tone um, clasp, that, a toggle of course, and it measures 20 inches. Just beautiful pearls, very unusual shape. So I hope that's fun for you. It's really pretty. I just, I'm bored of putting things on eBay, but if it's not something that you are all in love with, I don't mind putting it there. So if you're seeing this later, um, you can take a look on eBay and see if I put it on there. But for you guys right now, I'm going to say 80 on that lovely pearl necklace. This one, 
if you know about he she, per, he, she beads, I'm sorry, I almost said pearls. If you understand um, turquoise, he, she beads, you'll understand this piece. It is an oldie. It's all sterling silver, all turquoise beads that were just cut phenomenally. And these go for hundreds, hundreds of dollars. But I'm not sure, you know, what constitutes one going for 700 or 800 or 500. I just don't know. So I'm going to show it to you here. And maybe some of you that know a lot more about this will know what the value is to you. But it is all sterling. It's definitely turquoise. And I'm going to price this one at 80 as well. So not in the hundreds, but I'll price it at 80 and it's tested sterling. And if you want to go take a search on Hishi beads, real turquoise ones, you'll see that they go for a lot. So I hope that's going to be really exciting for someone to get that piece. It's a beautiful, handmade, lovely thing. So that's that one. I gently put it in here. It's just fun to see those beautiful colors on that turquoise too. Okay, what's next? How about I remind you how to purchase? Because a lot of people that drop into the video, they don't know how. So let me remind you, oh my, we're 41 minutes. Okay, capecodebaygirl at gmail.com is my email. And let me know what the video name is and the episode number. The timestamps of when the pieces that you like show up, a brief description of them, and the price given, okay? That's how you would order. Just send me an email at that email address. I do check my emails in the order that they are received. If I'm not answering my emails right away, don't worry. I'm usually commenting or, you know, making another video or something. So don't worry. I will get to it. It's not that someone else got in front of you. So do, um, you know, send emails throughout the video if you'd like to. You don't have to wait till the end and send one video, one, <laughs> send video, no, send an email. You can send me emails whenever you'd like as you're watching any of my videos, okay? So much to talk about. I hope that made sense. Okay, I have another vintage Weiss necklace. This is signed as well. I'll just show you that right away. There you go. And it is a clear rhinestone piece. Absolute stunner. It's got these flower-like pieces, these oval pieces. Big marquee, all prong set. That beautiful piece on the bottom. Repeats again on that side and then rhinestones all the way to the back. They're all there in beautiful condition. I'll show it to you on the neck. And I'm letting another beautiful Weiss go today. So I hope someone's watching that's going to love this and appreciate it. Silver tone on this one. Again, everything in great condition. Here is the back and the name again right there. And it's probably another 16 inch, yes. But again, they're easy to, to put an extender on with that hook and with this. You can even put, yeah, let me show you that. And I'll even add this one with the necklace. I even use these because they're stretchy and they're so easy for me to use with my hands. And I'll put this hook on here. I'll put this hook in this loop and then I'll take this rubber band part and I'll just loop it around this end piece. And by the time you get it on your neck, it holds just fine. So that's one extender, super easy that you can use. Very comfortable. I'll add that with it. Um, the comps on this necklace are 59 and I'm gonna say 32. So 32 on the Weiss with that little extender, okay? All right, now this one. I did my research on this guy. And, okay, so the exact necklace, exact clasp, everything. 
when I researched it, said that these were authentic Hawaiian beads. Um, I'm trying to think what you call them. Puka shell beads. So it said authentic Hawaiian, and I do believe that because I knew there was nicer puka shells than others. And then look at this abalone piece. Isn't that beautiful? So I thought this was very special, so I took some time to research it rather than just throwing it in something, because it is special. And theirs were $50 and more, again, depending on other components. This is 19 and a half inches in length, and the comps were 50, and I'm going to say 25 on this with that abalone, okay? So there goes that necklace. And all the researching and all the fun in that. I do have bunches more, bags more. Let's see if I can get a few more out because it is getting to be time here. Okay, that goes with that one. This is a Juicy Couture bracelet. It is a toggle clasp. It's got all the Juicy Couture things that one would love. It's missing a couple rhinestones in this. But you've got all the other components, the key, the bracelet's in great shape. So just that alone is in very wearable condition. And yeah, toggles like that. I think it's kind of on the tiny side if I remember correctly. If I have it hooked the right way, or maybe it's not a bracelet, I don't know. But something with a toggle, you would think, could it be an extender? I'm not sure, because look, five and a half. So I don't know what this piece is, but there it is. And with a couple missing rhinestones, I mean, normally they go for a lot but I'm gonna say just $10 on this piece. Maybe it can be a good extender, I'm not sure. Just thought I'd put it out there. This is a beautiful copper cuff bracelet. It's a genuine copper. I think it even is marked copper inside. Yes, it is. It's marked genuine copper. And they say when it's marked like that, it's a very nice piece. And look at the condition. It's really nice. Cuff bracelet. My price on this is 15 So there you go on that one. And it measures about a six and a half. And I'm going to go over my cuff instruction bracelet thing because I... I see people struggle with cuff bracelets, and I love to show this. I learned this from a Native American jeweler that makes turquoise jewelry. Um, I can't think of the name of the person, but he was teaching how to put a cuff bracelet on, and he said, you look for the soft part of your wrist, which is right about here, and you put the bracelet there, and then you roll your wrist, you roll into the bracelet roll into it like that rather than yanking it and trying to take it off so off it comes so see how it's in the softer part of my wrist normally i would think this would never fit me i'd be struggling oh i can't wear that but if i put it in that soft part of my wrist right in the middle turn my wrist into the bracelet look at that then you've got a great fitting bracelet that you're not struggling with and hurting yourself. So I love that information. I love sharing it. And I don't see a lot of people doing that. So I hope that helps. 15 on that really pretty copper bracelet. Okay, I want this bag to make a lot of noise. So I'm gonna go over here, grab some stuff and see what I can get done quickly. These are all so I can cushion the jewelry. We'll put that to the side. Okay, this is a really special sterling silver earring. There's just only one. 
So sterling and a sterling back. It's turquoise inlay stone. Can you get over that? It's a little tiny dragonfly. The turquoise is actually inlaid into that little tiny earring and bezel set. All right. I mean, have you seen anything like that? I'm really, you know, I wish I had the second one, but I don't. But that is incredible work. It's awesome. And I just couldn't let this go with all of that work. I mean, bezel set that tiny is just awesome. So you have a sterling silver back as well. It's just really special. I'm going to say 15 on the one earring because the work on it is absolutely fantastic. And that's what you get to know when you're looking through a loop. You get to realize just how detailed some things are. Okay, what have we got here? Oh, a really cute Sarah Coventry. Opalite, beautiful, dainty necklace. Oh, that's gorgeous. So probably opalite glass. It's really giving a nice color. And look at the chain. Isn't that sweet? And it's got the Sarah Coventry marking right there. And the little spring ring clasp. It's so sweet. So there you go with the Sarah Cov. And the gold on that is really pretty. It doesn't look so real. Does anyone know if Sarah Coventry used gold plating, like real gold plating? Because it looks like they did. Okay, and I have this one priced at 18, but I'm gonna say 12. $12 on the Sarah Coventry. And don't you love how they had these another place to clasp it, you know? Just really well thought out. This is 18 inches. Sarah Cub, beautiful condition, and opaline glass. So, there goes that one. This is a, a ton of rock crystal, I think. Oh, yeah. This whole thing is all clear quartz rock crystal, even the beads on the end. So it's just a chunky, beautiful, it's sort of woven together, so it's not freely moving. But that's a lot of quartz, clear quartz, and I have it priced at $35. Again, I look at what the comps are, and I go down from there. And, yeah, and it's also made to lay flat, which I thought was very interesting from the artist's standpoint. But look at that. It just looks like you're wearing ice around your neck. An all real gemstone. So my goodness, that's a lot of quartz just for 35. And it's already in a necklace, so I know someone's going to be really excited about that. So there's that piece. And I'll be excited too because you'll have something lovely and I'll be able to open that new box of jewelry. This is called a torque. It's lovely sterling plated, and it, they make it that shape so it fits around your collarbone, you know? So if you ever have a pendant that you like to just slide on, um, trying to grab something here, you can put just about anything around here. This is a, a silly pin that I'm going to give my son's girlfriend, but I'll just use it as an example. So you can slide anything around and wear it on a torque. So they're very useful, they're very good to have in a wardrobe of jewelry when you need it to just slide a pendant on. Um, let's see, will this fit on it? You have to have a little bit of a bigger bail, so that's not going to fit. But it's a torque, it's got really nice plating on it, a really good amount on it, or I wouldn't even bother. And yeah, that's that one. Not sure how to measure those, I think they're all, you know, about a general size and you can bend it around a little bit as well and I'll say ten dollars on the torque okay this oh I think I remember this from the 45 pounds this is called marbled glass it's a brooch the glass in there that green glass that looks like malachite is called marbled and then you have this ruby red 
and this pink color stone on the top striking all the colors together are very striking the comps are 25 here's the back old tone great shape and yeah it's called marble glass i don't think it's as old as an old brooch uh, but it is beautiful and i'll say 15 on that okay what have we here oh this is so lovely just, oh my, can we just, just look for a minute? Oh, the soft textured petals around that flower. So this is called a flower spray brooch. The rhinestones, they're like a little bit of a silver tint to them and they complement that gold. Oh my gosh, just beautiful. I'm going to take this one off so you can get a good look at it. Even though I've got to hurry along, I want you to see it. It's an oldie. It's on this type of clasp, and it's got those rivets to hold it together. Look at the condition it's in. It's so pretty. Oh, just gorgeous. That texture is lovely. It is a Sarah Coventry. It's marked S-A-C. S like Sam, A, C, and that stands for Sarah Coventry. Let's see if I can show you where the mark is. Oh, I don't know. It's been a while since I, since I found the mark. But it is marked. And the comps say $40 on this one. So they sell all day for $40 on the Sarah Coventry piece. It's a beauty. And I'm going to say 24 on that. Or we'll do 22 $22 on this normally $40 Sarah Coventry brooch. It's just a stunner. Okay, then we've got... It's like some real amethyst. Yes, it is. It says KC Italy 925. It's an older chain really pretty one nice and delicate and look how it just has these um, these amethyst beads I'm trying to think of what it's called when they're stationed like that I think it's called stationed and then it comes to this Y drop that's so beautiful and look at that sterling bead at the end what a great great job they did really well done Again, all sterling, all tested, just a beautiful minimalist with the with that really salute to the sterling on the end. I love that nice salute to it. And I'll show you the the um, amethyst stone. It goes right in the middle of amethyst, which is right here on the gem tester. Right down that bottom line amethyst and that's right where it went right to the center I'll show you them up closer because they're nice the older stuff they seem to use nicer look at that beautiful color right beautiful rich purple gemstone they're not messing around on this one so just gorgeous and that could be cleaned up a little lovely I mean, what can I say? It's probably an Art Deco piece. It's probably that old, but I don't know. I'm not that much of a professional. Just know it's different. It's gorgeous. High quality beads. And I have a price of 40 on this one. And the darker the color, the better the gemstone, they say. So, oops, did I measure that for you? Let me do that. And always the class work very well. You know, if there was any issues, I'd tell you, and it's marked everywhere. So this one is 17 inches, and then another inch, it drops down right there. So just so beautiful. Really pretty. And if someone doesn't take that, I'm going to layer it, because I've been really having fun layering my sterling necklaces. And I'll show you sometime on picture, on the video. This is 
a cast cast brooch pendant. I have to take it off here. You've got to be able to see it. It's just the easiest way I can have the information on there. So I researched it and found out it's called a cast brooch pendant. It is a beautiful gold tone seashell. And I saw a lot of these, but I didn't see a lot that had this detail. And the reason it has a detail is because they actually cast a mold of a real shell and then they made the pin. So really cool. Nice big bale. And it opens up like this for easy putting on things. Just a great brooch. And my price on this is 25 You can put that on a chain. You can wear it as a pin. You can wear it on some pearls. I think it's really multi, multi-useful. Multi-useful. I've got more and more and more. Okay. This. I hope I have something for everyone. I've got sterling. I've got, we had some pearls, right? Yes, we've got vintage. We've got rhinestone. This is a stunning sterling silver Jerusalem piece. Um, stuck a little bit to my sticker. Okay, Jerusalem 925. Lovely chain. And then it comes down to this cross. I love the patina. I'm not going to touch it right now, but it will polish up very easily if you want to. So there you go. That's a nice chunky piece right there. The necklace measures 18 inches, and you just can't wreck these chains. They're so strong. So there's all of those marks on there. Just the flow of it. Really nice. And I'm going to say 25 on the sterling silver Jerusalem necklace. Okay, so there's some more sterling. Then I have this made in Austria. Oh, oh, oh. Look at this brooch. Let me go here. So made in Austria on the back. I believe it's shell. But they've, I don't know how they put it on there. They probably wired it on. I do not know. But it's an Austria pin. Does need a little bit of attention right there and there. Because that's where they soldered it. So just be aware of that. See that there? I don't know how you would treat it. Um, I'm thinking maybe it needs oil on there, but I don't know. So just be aware that it is signed Austria, and it's an oldie and beautiful. And so for this one, I'm just going to say $8 because it needs that little bit of attention. And where'd my bag go? All right, I'll put it over here. We have this old Lucite ring. Super cool. Looks like amber and has um, stripes in it. This is... $10, Lucite resin, and I'm surprised I don't have a size on there. This one is a size nine, so super cool resin ring, $10, so cute. Then we have a origami owl bracelet signed right here. It's in a rose gold tone. Big lobster clasp. It's brand new. It's never been worn. I have the price of 15 on it. I looked up, you know, what they go for and took the price down as usual. So measures seven and a quarter. Origami owl. Rose gold tone. Big Rolo chain. So hope you love that one for 15. Then I have this necklace. This is a Dolce Cabana. It is signed here. It's got the big clasp. 
this is either a bracelet or an anklet. It could be either or. And it says desire on it. Isn't that pretty? It has faceted glass beads. It has enameling on the letters and some faux pearls with filigree end caps. They did a great job on this piece. Let me show you the other pieces towards the end. There's a heart and there's some chunky pieces. They look, it looks like a purse, maybe a suitcase and a shoe. And it measures pretty big. Let me just measure it on the tape and it measures 10 inches. If I clasp it again, like here, let's see what it does on the, so yeah, it goes right off. So it's bigger than nine inches around this way. So I'm thinking an anklet. I suppose you could clamp it closer right here and wear it as a bracelet. So there you go, faceted glass, really well made. And the comps are 59, 59, and I'm gonna say 25 on this piece. So if you love that one, they go for 59 and I'll say 25. Now these, so again, these are pieces that I have in my color jewelry bag things, but they're not matching with others, but they're terrific. So I wanted you to have them. This is some art glass with some, how am I gonna go forget? Gold stone, gold stone hearts on the bottom. Nice dangly earrings. You've got two pieces of art glass, a blue bead in the middle. And I love how they just took the, you know, that coppery color and then they put the gold stone hearts on the bottom. Just nicely done silver wires and I put the new backs on them. And for the gold stone, I'll say $20 on these. And they are a nice weight, but not too bad. Oh, let me show you this next because this will probably go, oh, that would have gone with that necklace, with the Weiss necklace. This is a great Czech, Czech, Czechoslovakia marked rhinestone bracelet. Beautiful. So you can have two signed pieces that you're wearing with the Weiss and with the Czech bracelet. This measures, I don't know if my camera just went out, but my battery's going to die. That's weird. Almost seven inches and 25 on this one, but I'll say, I'll go to 18. So 18 on this. Okay, back again. Almost lost you all with the battery. I have it plugged in, but sometimes it doesn't connect correctly. So all of a sudden I'll see dying battery, yikes. This is an, a an ART, an Arthur Pepper necklace. And it's a gorgeous butterfly enamel and a lovely, like a, I don't want to say yellow. It's like a creamy color, like a vanilla color. Look at the chain, beautiful snail chain, excellent condition. And it's marked ART for Arthur Pepper right there. So super awesome Arthur Pepper piece. It's got a spring ring clasp. Excellent metal, oh, excellent finish. Really good, good, good shape. So again, you get to see it in three dimensional, all different sides. Um, in great detail. So I hope that helps as opposed to looking at pictures on, on eBay or something. As good as people's pictures are, it's good to see it in three dimensions, I think. So again, there's the back and there's that awesome chain. And it measures about 19 inches, but it's hard to tell because it comes out like that. So about 19. And the comps are $45 on this piece. And I'll say 25, okay? So for an Arthur Pepper butterfly piece on a, in that condition, 
I'll say 25. And again, I hope that is so making someone happy. Because it would make me happy too to move it along and to have something for you to love. Okay, last is a nice little pair of sterling silver earrings. Yes, so really cool little hoops. And what am I saying about these? They are, I don't know. I have like a Z on there. I'm not sure what I mean by that. But they're sterling, cute little hoops. They're all marked. I think mm, that's not a sterling back, so they'll probably come with these. So they won't have sterling backs, but they are. Wait a minute. Maybe that's what the note says. Oh, that's funny. The, the backs say Sarah for Sarah Coventry. So they're a Sarah Coventry back, but they're a sterling silver earring. So, yeah, I think I'll put them with these. That looks good. And for these little sterling babies, I'll say $12. And just, again, they have this lovely texture swirly texture to them. I have so much sterling silver. I mean, I have a bucket of it. I should just grab it quick and show you because I know I should do a video on it, but I have done several and I'm not sure what I'm doing, but the pieces don't sell. I think because maybe people aren't used to me selling sterling some channels, they have all sterling all the time. Um, so I'm going to have to figure that out. If you can put in the comments what you think about sterling silver jewelry, should I make it an entirely separate video so that people will know, okay, this is all sterling. This is only, I mean, this is some of it, but I've got lots, lots more. Um, loads of stuff in here and I've got it you know organized I've got sterling silver rings this is that gold vermeil piece that I had in a video all of these I think have been shown in videos I've got all kinds of pearls and sterling this was that three pounds episode with the pearls this is Oh, remember those earrings? Oh my gosh. This is that bracelet with the, the blue stone. Another one. Um, on 10 23 I had a sterling sale episode one. And I left everything in that bag just in case someone watches that video and says, Hey, I want this piece or that. So if you want to go back to sterling sale episode one, this is April. So, October, November, December, January, February, March, April. It should say six months ago, Sterling Sale Episode 1. If you watch that video, look at how many pieces I still have in here. So rather than do an entire video, we've got that one. Maybe I can relaunch it. But, I mean, the gorgeous, oh, so much stuff. These specialty pieces, loads of chains all kinds of charms. I've got bunches of Pandora charms in here. Some of the most beautiful bracelets I've ever seen. Okay, I have to show you this one. This, I don't remember what box it came in. It wasn't anything I did on video. It was like something I was doing before I did YouTube. And this is so stunning. This is called Ellie Gators. Ellie Gators Sterling Bracelet. It's all solid sterling and it's all carved. It's got pearls, it's got stones, it's got shells. They're very, very collectible, very desirable. A ton of sterling, look at it all. And these go for 378 
and I was going to list it on eBay for $345 because they go for $378 and more. So I thought I would list it for $345. If you're looking at the video and you want it for $345, you're very welcome to buy it. But please look up that name, and if you know it already, you know exactly what I've got in my hands. So it's about a seven and a half, and you could also put the toggle clasp, little fish, you could put it in this link or this, so it could get even smaller, but absolutely beautiful. You know why they're just incredible. And these are, um, what's that, peridot? So everything is a real stone, and it's, you know, real pearl and everything. There's nothing that's imitation here at all. Just beautiful, beautiful bracelet. So lots of things that I don't have time to list on eBay, but they're sitting here. So I will just put this back in here, and if someone asks for it, I'll know. But I've got loads of bracelets, and I just, yeah, I need to know how to go about this. Also, when I start my live sales, I'll be able to bring this jewelry out and you know have it have people bid on the items. So, sorry about that noise. So that'll be that too. So I hope you had fun hanging out with me today on this pop-up sale. Let's see what have I got on. My favorite Laramar ring, my sterling filigree, another one as well, and this guy. I'm going to let this go someday. They go for a lot. And my other Laramar. And my usual bracelets with my Pandora, beginning of my Pandora collection. And I just had to put my pearl bracelet back on. I've been missing it. So that's what I have. And that's what I have for jewelry. So I'm going to have to fix up a nice thumbnail so that you'll see the picture and you'll want to click on it and say, wow, I got to go see what Sherry has for sale today. So thank you so much for coming. I hope you'll give me an email if you like something and send me that info. And don't forget to give a like on your way out, okay? It really supports the channel and lets YouTube know that you like the content. And it pushes me up just a little bit more because they can start to push us down and there's nothing we can do about that. So thank you for subscribing if you just did and for liking and for all that you do, your comments and everything. I love you all dearly and we'll see you next time at the Bobbles. Bye. Hey guys, I hope you had a great time watching the video. I know I had fun making it. Miss Percy, again? Okay, you can be in here. I just wanted to say goodbye. Miss Percy, that's not nice. You don't have to be right in the center. She's so fresh, you know that? Do you know what she's like to deal with every day? She's so fresh. Anyway, thank you all for coming. We hope that you had a great time and that you'll come back again. Bye.